Hello friends, I am Moomin and today we are diving in the fantastic world of Linux. And in this video, we are gonna see some amazing Linux distribution which are best for video editors and content creation. So, let's get started. Now the first distro which I believe is the best for content creation and gaming is Nobara Linux. A distro based on Fedora, designed to be user friendly and accessible to new users. It was created by a team of developers who wanted to make Linux more approachable for power users. Now the key features are obviousness, the game support. Nubara Linux comes with pre-installed drivers and codecs for gaming which makes it an excellent choice for gamers. And then how can you forget the user friendly interface? You see we get three options, their own optimized and customized version of GNOME, then we have vanilla GNOME and then we have KDE which provides an initiative and modern experience however way you like. And then we have the Fedora base. Nubara benefits from Fedora's stability, security and cutting its software performance and packages. And how can you forget the compatibility? Nubara aims to be compatible with most Windows features through Vine and other compatibility layer. And this is one of the most greatest distro I have ever seen in terms of stability. Even with being cutting edge, it is too stable that it outperforms Windows at some level. And you see Nubara Linux is community driven which means it has an active community with support available through forums, social media and documentation. And now talk about the system requirements then 4 gigs of RAM is literally must in today's world. You must have 4 GB of RAM to do almost anything. Then you must have 20 gigs of free storage and a 64 bit compatible processor. You see, in my opinion, Nubara Linux is an excellent choice for those users who are new to Linux, especially gamers. Its user-friendly interface, compatibility with Windows software and strong community support makes it an attractive option. However, it is essential to note that Nubara is still a relatively new distribution as compared to Ubuntu and Fedora. And some features might not be that great, but yes, it is a lot greater and better than Ubuntu and Windows. Now let's talk about how it is for video editing, the biggest question. You see Nobara can be a good option for video editing thanks to its Fedora base which provides access to wide range of software packages including video editing tools. And you see with the Fedora base you have availability of options like Blender, Lightworks, Caden Live and how can you forget the Vinci Resolve. But that's not the main question, the main question is performance and that is where Nobara comes in. Nubara supports hardware acceleration in almost all GPUs whether we talk about Nvidia, AMD. This distro has the most stable and best user experience I've ever seen with graphics card and Linux. Cause these two things never mix with each other properly. But Nubara has done it. But you see there are some limitations. Like with many video editing tools are available, some proprietary softwares like Adobe or CapCut, they are not available. So. If you can work with DaVinci, Gaiden Live, Lightworks or Blender, then you're good to go. And that is why I see that Nubara can be a good choice for video editing, offering a range of software options and good performance. However, it might require some proper setup and configuration which will meet your specific needs. Now if we are talking about power and performance, then how can you forget Arch-based distribution starting with ArchGraph. You see, Archcraft is an Arch-based distro designed to be user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing. I must say, the desktop is beautiful and it comes with a range of desktop options. It aims to provide a smooth and streamlined experience while maintaining the flexibility and customizable options. Now let's start with the key features. The Archcraft inherits the stability, security and rolling release model of Arch Linux. And Archcraft comes pre-configured systems making it easier for new users to get started with Arch. And how can we forget, Archcraft offers a range of customization options including themes, icons and even the whole desktop. And along with Arch support, we have Arch user repository which provides a vast collection of software packages. Now the system requirements are just as same, you must have 4 gigs of RAM and at least 20 gigs of storage. It offers a balance of ease of use and customizable options making it suitable for the both new users and experienced users. 
and with its active community and extensive documentation, Ashcraft provides a supportive environment for users to explore and learn. Now talk about how it is for video editing. Then as I said, it also supports AUR and Arch repository, which means you have access to Blender, Lightworks, Kdenlive, Live, DaVinci and others. And Ashcraft also supports proper hardware acceleration which can improve video editing performance. But just as the previous ones and all Linux distribution, we have software limitations like we don't have any Adobe software. But you see there are some additional considerations. The flexibility of Ashcraft allows custom system configuration which can be beneficial for video editing. So in summary, Ashcraft can be a good choice for video editing offering a range of software options, hardware acceleration and customizable possibilities. However, it might require some additional setup and configurations to meet your specific needs. And now it is time to introduce the King Kong of Linux, Linux Mint, a popular user-friendly Linux distro based on Ubuntu and Debian, which aims to provide a comfortable and insured experience for users, especially those who are new to Linux. The stability and security are up to the mark, maybe the best in this list, and it uses the old traditional cinnamon desktop environment which provides a familiar interface but not too familiar when we talk about Windows 11 and Linux Mint. Yes, I know the desktop is literally old and what can I say? As compared to the latest flashy ones like Windows 11's desktop, GNOME, KDE and even the deep in desktop environment. But that's not the point here. We're talking about how it is for video editing. Now let's talk about system requirements. It just needs 2 gigs of RAM and 20 gigs of storage. And now talk about its performance, then yes Linux does support gaming with many games available through Steam platform and Linux Mint comes with some video editing software features and more can be installed through package management. Well talk about all in all then Linux Mint is an excellent choice for those users who are new to Linux and seeking a user friendly experience. Its stability and intuitive experience and interface makes it a suitable option for everyday use including gaming and video editing. But talk about in-depth video editing on Linux Mint, then thanks to the Ubuntu's base and Debian softwares, Linux Mint has a stable foundation for video editing. And with the package management, and with the package manager, you can download Blender, Lightworks, DaVinci, Gaiden Live, all of it. And most of them are the most compatible and stable on Linux Mint. And Linux Mint also has good support for NVIDIA and AMD graphics card which is beneficial for video editing. And Linux Mint takes advantage of proper allocation of resources like multiple CPU cores which allows you to improve your video editing performance. But as I said like every Linux distro, it has limitations that you cannot properly install Windows applications and softwares. But besides that, in summary, Linux Mint can be a good choice for video editing, offering a range of software options, hardware acceleration, and customizable possibilities. However, as I said with every distro, it does require some proper configurations of the system in order to meet your specific needs. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily dose of awesome risk content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm on, signing up.